bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Karen. Wow, day of good news, people of God. I work for the Lord Jesus Christ in the throne of grace. Come from the four winds, O breath of God, and be released on your people, O God. Yes, be released on your people from the throne of grace to the ends of the earth, we pray in Jesus' name. And Lord, I want to thank you that we've been sprinkled by the blood of the Lamb. We're no longer a slave to sin and we're no longer a slave to Satan. We've been liberated. We are debt free. You conquered death, hell, and the grave. We are no longer part of Satan's dominion of darkness, but we're in your marvelous light. And Lord, forever, we're gonna bless you and thank you for this great liberation. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, today, we're going to talk about what, how to pray. How to pray and how we um, petition the courts of heaven. And I'm in Matthew chapter 6. And these words are from Jesus Christ, our Jewish Messiah, 2,000 years ago, God in the flesh. He never committed to sin, sinless, spotless Lamb of God on a mission to take the sin of the world upon himself and open a doorway back to God the Father. It's a free gift. It doesn't cost you anything because he paid with his life. It's by grace. It's by grace we've been saved. It's a free gift. Nobody charges for the living water, for the anointing of God, for the free gift of salvation. You can't give billions of dollars and get salvation. Salvation comes through the blood of the Lamb. It comes through Jesus Christ. He is the only doorway back to the Father. And He's walking the earth. He's with His disciples. He, didn't, he wasn't discipling, you know, thousands. He had 12 that were walking with him. And they, he was teaching them. He says, in this manner, verse 9, this is how you pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So when he's telling us to pray, he's saying, our Father in heaven, your will, your kingdom come, your will be done. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And it says, for if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. So this is Jesus, this is what he said, God in the flesh, lift up the Father, Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, glory be your name, Wow, blessed be your name, the Lord who rules from on high. I mean, he gave us a wonderful format. Your kingdom come, God. You will rule. You rule the universe. Your kingdom come on the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, God. Lord, give us what we need for today, God. Lord, the, the living bread, give us what we need for today, God. Forgive us our debts, and as we forgive our debtors, we forgive those that have trespassed against us. We forgive those that have robbed us. We forgive those that have hurt our children, abused our children. We forgive those. We forgive those that come against us. And it says, as, forgive us as we forgive them. And then he says, Pray not to be led into temptation. Lord, 
Keep us away from temptation. Gird us up with the power of your Holy Spirit, God. Lord, those things that used to tempt us, let them let those things be as nothing. Flatline. You know, no more overindulgent. No more five chocolate candy bars. No more overindulgent. Flatline, God. Those temptations that we can just walk by the power of the Holy Spirit. And he says, and deliver us from the evil one. And I love saying, get behind me, Satan. It is written, get behind me. I will serve the Lord my God and serve him only. Liber I'm liberated from Satan in Jesus' name. And then he goes on to say, if you forgive men, their trespasses, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive, and a lot of times, so many times when I'm counseling people, we'll, we'll, you know, they're good. They don't have any unforgiveness. I'll say, any unforgiveness? No. And then we'll start talking to them. Maybe when they were a child, their father beat them or their mother hated them or, you know, some uncle abused them. Whatever it is, we have to release unconditional forgiveness. The Bible says, if you don't forgive, you're not forgiven. And I believe the same measure, the same measure we can forgive, I believe just that same measure of unconditional forgiveness just unravels all that bitterness, unravels all that. Maybe someone gossiped about you, called your name, smashed into your car, robbed you of all your money. I mean, we unconditionally forgive. We forgive. God taught me this when these men were trying to kill me in Jerusalem. And these Islamic men come in. They wanted to make our church a mosque. And I mean, they beat me up, left me for dead. And the Lord said, keep forgiving them. Just keep forgiving them. Keep praying for them. Keep praying for salvation. And now I'm friends with them. I'm friends with all of them. But I, God taught me, don't let bitterness come into your heart because somebody does something terrible to the ministry you know whatever they've done to you they've done to him whatever they've done to you they've done to him the war and the battle really is satan against what's inside of you that's where the battle is you know you've asked jesus christ to come into your heart to be your lord you know, and Satan wants to do everything he can to get you to walk away from that covenant that you're in with the Lord. And and we, we can't be shaken free. I mean, we can't be shaken out of God because he's with us always. We're planted in God. You know, he's not going to uproot us. He's not going to steal us away. When the storms come, we're going to we're going to be in that strong tower and God's going to carry us all the way through to the finish line. I believe that. I have faith that the God I serve, the God that called me and rescued me out of darkness, can deliver me across the finish line into the endless life. And that's good news. So, if you're out there and you're saying, "God, I don't know how to pray. Use the Lord's Prayer as a prayer model. You know, our Father in Heaven, lift up God. Okay, then talk about His kingdom. Jesus said, when you go someplace, say, the kingdom of God is near. Your kingdom come and your will be done, God. And then go on and say, Lord, and then in verse 11, present your need. And then you go on to forgive those that have trespassed against you. In the name of Jesus, God bless you from the throne of grace.